championship game coming up here between Fairleigh Dickinson and Merrimack tonight. Uh, this is an automatic bid game coming up here for uh, a chance at the NCAA tournament. So that's the first game that we're going to discuss. That is the Northeast Conference Tournament Championship game. It is being played in North Andover, uh, Massachusetts, Merrimack's home court. They are favored by four on the home floor. 138 is the total. Corby Craig, let's begin things. You're going to have an official play right off the bat here on game number one. Yeah, give me the four with Merrimack. Uh, this is a team with the six act, sixth longest active win streak in the nation with 10 wins. Uh, I think that we're getting priced into the idea that they're still this team that we've saw all year. Uh, the issue is their defense has cleaned up a lot. First in the nation now uh, in forced turnovers. In their last game for Sacred Heart, they forced 18 turnovers. Uh, and this is a defense that's cleaned up overall. Uh, but looking at the games in Fairleigh Dickinson that they lost both times this year, this will be the third time that they faced, uh, they forced like 20 plus turnovers in both. And that, that was when this team wasn't uh, at their pinnacle. So they're looking a lot better. They have a lot of pieces that have, that have wrapped around minor. Minor basically for the start of the year was this entire Merrimack team. Uh, and, and I like their offense where they're at. They just beat a Sacred Heart team that I think is really comparable to Fairleigh Dickinson overall in like a talent scheme. Uh, and so, and they got completely out rebounded. So uh, in, in the ability to force turnovers and play Decent offense and score 71 in that game. I think it was more impressive than not. And uh, give me the fourth, Mary Mack. I had this number at eight, so I, I was way off market here. And interesting, and thank you to the viewer that's watching us. I think it's Sick Vic there that says, hey, uh, Fairleigh Dickinson has already qualified uh, to go to the tournament for making the title game here because Merrimack is not eligible for the NCAA tournament. So this is just to win the conference tournament championship and hang a banner, but Merrimack is not eligible for the NCAA tournament. So thank you for the clarification. Uh, Matty Cox, thought here on this game, even if not an official play to start us off. No, I'm with Corby. I took uh, Merrimack a minus three um, and a half this morning. I bought bought the, bought the half point to three. But, yeah, I like Merrimack a ton. They're just playing like a rocket ship right now. They've cleaned up their defense. Jordan Minor back is a complete revelation for this team. And then Devon Savage has been a big-time shot maker um, down the stretch, a guy that's emerged as a James Madison transfer. He's really booed that perimeter offense. Um, I know Fred Dickinson's been really feisty all season. They're well coached. But I think Merrimack, especially at home, um, that place will be rocking. You know, Tina just moved up from D2 to D1 not so long ago. I think this is like the program Super Bowl of all Super Bowls. So, yeah, they'll be locked in for this game. I think they get it done today. All right. So let's lock Corby in on game number one, and that is going to be, again, a matchup between Fairleigh Dickinson, who's already in the NCAA tournament, playing in the conference tournament title game with Merrimack that is playing for pride and to hang a banner to win the conference tournament championship, even if they can't go to the NCAA tournament. Corby says lay the points with Merrimack in this matchup at 7 Eastern time uh, tonight. All right, let's continue here on the program. And again, thank you for finding us. Hit that like button. Make sure that you're subscribed and, uh, and you're with us every day, 11 a.m. Eastern time on the program. Let me share with the audience for the first of a couple of times. This will be the first time that I miss a show tomorrow because of travel. Could not make it work to be able to get here for the live show. So my streak is going to end going back to like November the 1st on having done every show on the Bet U.S. College Basketball Show. Guys, you'll be in great hands tomorrow on the program with Gary Seegers, who's a fantastic host on Bet U.S. with the college football coverage, the How to Bet uh, coverage as well on Bet U.S. TV. Gary's a big college basketball guy. You'll be in good hands with him tomorrow on the Bet U.S. College Basketball Show. That's 